Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to return multiple columns when using VLOOKUP or XLOOKUP. You might want to return multiple columns in the order that they are in your data set, or you might want to return them in a different order. So let's start off with VLOOKUP. Many of you are still using VLOOKUP, which is fine. Here's the product ID, comma, table array is here, comma, Col index number. Now we want multiple column index numbers. We want column two, three, four, and five. So we use brace brackets to specify multiple col index numbers. So that will be two, three, four, and five, separated by commas. Close the brace brackets, then comma false for exact match or a zero. Close the bracket, press enter, and then we have it. We have all of the information to do with this product. Now for XLOOKUP, slightly different, equals XLOOKUP. Now here's my product ID, my lookup value. My lookup array is here, comma, and my return array would just be all of the columns that I want to return. Close the bracket, press enter, and it returns that information in the order that is shown within your data. So what if you want to return the columns in a different order? If you look up first, here's my lookup value, table array is here. Now you've probably guessed what you do with VLOOKUP. You just express your col index numbers in the order that you want to return them. So the first column I want to return is column three. That's the product name. Then the classification, which is column four. Then the supplier, which is column two. And then the unit price, which is column five. So I close the bracket there and then false or zero at the end. And it returns the columns in that order. X lookup is my lookup value. My lookup array is here. And then for the return array, you're going to use a function called choose coals. Now your array is all the columns that you want to return, comma. And then you can specify the order of the columns that you want to return. So the first column I want to return is product name, which is in position two, comma. Then the second column I want to return is classification, which is in position three. Then supply, which is in position one. And then lastly, unit price, which is in position four. So then I close the bracket for choose coals and then for XLOOKUP and it returns those columns in that order.